my channel. If you're new here, I do appreciate you stopping by. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to turn on all notifications so that you'll be notified whenever my videos upload. It's Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. I appreciate you being here. If you're just an everyday person like me who loves beauty, loves makeup, just loves beautiful things, then I hope you hang around and we're gonna go ahead and get started with this video. So today's video is just going to be a quick overview. I just received the new palette from the collab between Cindy Grace and Mel Thompson. It's a beautiful palette. I wanted to give it a few tries though before I just jumped on here and gave it a review. I uh, wanted to try a few looks, get used to and acquainted with the formula, textures, how I felt it wore, you know, just overall rather than just a quick first impressions. So I have done three looks. This is the latest look, if you can see it here. I'll zoom in it a little bit so you can see a little closer but I think it turned out really pretty. I have actually had this on for maybe two or three hours now. I kind of wanted to give it a little bit of time before I just jumped on here right after it looking all beautiful and glam after just applying. So far though, I have to say, I mean, I love Sydney Grace, which everybody already knows. I already knew I would like their formula. I just wasn't sure about the color story. It was a little bit different than I'm used to. Again, I'm a very neutral tone, natural, neutral look kind of girl. That's just my sweet spot. That's what I know, what I enjoy doing, what I'm familiar with. This for me was a little bit different, a little bit out of my norm but I was surprised that I was actually able to make some nice looks with it some you know looks that I would not normally make but I've really enjoyed playing with this palette it's beautiful never had a doubt about the formulas I knew they would be the usual Sydney Grace it did not disappoint but here is the palette and I think that's just so cute that's based off of Mel Thompson's tattoos things that she loves she kind of helped design that which I thought was pretty cool and then the palette so I'm trying to make sure you can see it there without a lot of glare. Yeah, really pretty palette. Some of these shades here, this one here is a duochrome. It might even be a multi-chrome. Definitely has a beautiful shift to it. And I actually found out surprisingly, this one here is a duo or multi-chrome as well. It's really, really pretty. And just the way it looks kind of a pinkish, orangish color, but then it shifts kind of a gold color. It's oh, so pretty. And then that top one, this one here has kind of a greenish purplish shift in a kind of a brownish undertone. It's, oh, it's beautiful. I will go ahead and swatch. I want you to at least see those couple that I mentioned there, the duochromes. And again, metallics are just my sweet spot. So those are the ones that I am going to swatch here just so you can get a look at those. But man, they're just gorgeous. But just to give you, sorry, I know this is kind of an awkward <laughs> glimpse at those. They're gorgeous. Bring you even a little closer so you can see without blinding you. But look at that shift. This one here, it's just gorgeous. What can you say though? I mean, her shadows never disappoint. They haven't disappointed me so far. And I'm just eager to make a couple more looks with it. It's so diverse. It's got a little bit more of those lighter purple colors. It's got like a lighter minty green color. I mean, you could really make some pretty looks. play around with those a little bit more but I highly recommend I believe it's out of stock I went on this site and I think within the first 10 minutes I ordered mine just because again I love Cindy Grace plus I had a credit to use from the Christmas in July sale so I just knew that I wanted to get it I know someone very shortly after that tried to order it and it was out of stock so I think there's a restock definitely recommend it I am impressed thank you Cindy Grace for coming out with another great product there are a couple things I did want to highlight just very quickly that I have been enjoying up to this point. I will have my August favorites coming up, but again, still a couple weeks left in August before that's gonna come up. So I do want to just give a quick highlight of some of these products. So a couple of the products that I have been enjoying, been wearing uh, at least a few times to kind of give an idea of what I feel about them. I have talked about this briefly. The Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. This bronze right here is very pigmented. So 
I would either recommend going with a more fluffy brush or definitely take your time, you know, we'll start with a very little product and blend it, but it is highly pigmented. So if you make the mistake and put too much on, it's a little bit of a pain <laughs> to try to smooth out. So just be very, very careful. Another thing I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel initially, this the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I have mine in Light 50W. Now, I wasn't sure I felt about this the first time I used it. I used it with the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Primer. It wasn't a good mix. I don't know if it was just the two hydrating products that it was too much, but it didn't wear well. It didn't last very long. I was not at first. I was about to just chuck it up for a loss. I did try it with a couple of other primers. I think my favorite is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Smoothie Primer. I've used that with it a few times and I really like that. The primer has a little bit of a glow to it itself and then you have this which is hydrating and a little bit glowy. So I think it's a really nice balance. It's not too much, but I recommend it with that. And then the one day I did try it, I have a Revlon Pore Filling Primer that I tried it with as well as the First Aid Beauty one that I mentioned. And I really like that combination because that one does really help cover the pores. So I did like that combination so I'm still trying that out so far I do like it more than I initially thought I did and sorry I'm just kind of chilled today it is hot I'm a little bit more glowy and pink <laughs> than I would be because I'm hot it's hot so I was like I'm going chill today we're in the tank top whatever so anyway so just don't mind that we're just lounging here taking it easy another product that i have tried is the elf bite size face duos this one is pomegranate which is a really nice color uh, i did do that today with today's look because i did use a little bit more of the pink tones in the tiny marvels cindy grace palette so i used that to kind of highlight some of the pink out of my eyeshadows but actually really nice and i've used the spiced apple one so far too and so far for three dollars you can't go wrong elf their bite size line i've liked the eyeshadow and the, now the face duos. So I highly recommend those for $3. Another thing I've been enjoying, which I'd gotten before, was the Artist Couture lipstick. And this one is in Saucy Gal. This is a newer one that I got. I had the other one, which is Boy Toy, which I've been enjoying. I keep hearing Juicy Jazz mention this one, and she you know, really highly recommends this one. And I already like the formula of the other one I have. So I was like, well, let me get a little bit different color because I don't always want a pinkish tone. So this this one is a really, really nice beige neutral brown tone. It's really, really pretty though. I'm kind of almost caramel. I don't know. It's really pretty though. And that's actually what I'm wearing today, along with that Alamar Cosmetics slip liner in Dulce that I'm always mentioning. That is my combo. And then I think I have ColourPop Luxe lip gloss over top of that. So that's the combo I'm wearing for my lips. And another thing I've been enjoying, which I mentioned before in another video, I uh, just wanted to give a quick update because I've actually worn it a few times now, is Nikia Joy's Velvet Finishing Powder. Very, very nice product, has a lovely smell. I think it does kind of like sugar cookie, vanilla smell. I enjoy it, maybe not for everybody, but it does quickly fade. But to me, it smells good. It makes me hungry for some cookies, but I enjoy it. So yeah, so so far, those are some products that I have been enjoying. Again, I will give my updated list for August in a couple of weeks once I've tried some more products out and give you a better idea of what I'm really enjoying so far this month. Yeah, so that's what I got. So guys, thanks for hanging out here with me. That's what I've got for you today. Just a quick overview. Wanted to keep this one kind of short. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please thumbs up, like this video, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell. Make sure you turn on all notifications so that you will get updated and alerted every time that I post videos, which is on Wednesdays and Saturdays right now at 9 a.m. This has just been a fun, chill, laid back kind of video, my kind of thing, because I'm just a chill girl living in the chill world. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I get corny sometimes. <laughs> Don't mind me. I can't help it who I am. So anyways, if you enjoyed this though, I hope you come back for more and I'll have some good content coming up for you. I'm trying to mix things up a little bit. You know, it gets a little boring always talking about makeup. I'm trying some new things. So let me know what you think. Please leave a comment down below. Catch you next time, guys. Until then though, stay safe, wash your hands, social distance, stay hydrated, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Um, sure about the, uh, the, that's just my sweet spot, what I'm used to, what I, you know, uh, can do. Uh, it's that um, I have been enjoying so much. Uh